Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson at Strata 2014 in Santa Clara. I'm here with Cesar Rojas. Cesar, Hi. how are you doing? Hi, how are you? Good. Good to see you again. Good to see you. So you're with Teradata. Right. And Teradata has a unique position in the market that you have a really strong uh, presence with enterprises. Right. Um, you're, we, you're an established company. You've been around for quite a while. Well, we have decades of, you know, of exactly. user experience uh, in the enterprise data warehouse. And lately, we've been actually getting more into you know, the big data space you know, in the last three years, three, four years. Okay, so in the data space, some companies, some large big data companies are kind of uh, saying there's an end in sight to data science and to this whole movement of big data. Do you see that? Um, we're not as radical. I mean, we're trying to democratize the role of the data scientists uh, by giving our install base, our customers, you know, more data scientists automation in some way. And there's four basic processes on data science is the way we understand it. You have the extraction, you have, you know, the, uh, you have the extraction, you have, you have the, uh, what is data wrangling or data transformation in mm -hmm. some yep. way, yep. the analytics, and the visualization. So, and, you know, we actually, with the Teladata Astro Discovery Platform, we have technology that allows those different processes. Uh, so the regular SQL analysts or business analysts it's more inclined to working with a technology that's more familiar to them from the SQL point of view instead of you know, a very harsh programmatic point of view and be able to be to automate some of this process a little bit, right? So our goal is to, you still need to have that human element. You still have you know the, the inside of the human to be able to do domain knowledge. Yeah, analytics. Yeah. So yeah. you're not it's not possible for you to completely disassociate, you know, the, the data scientist's uh, role from from a human. You have to be able to have the integration of human, but we want to democratize uh, the role by lowering the barriers of entry to you know becoming a data scientist. So lowering the barrier, uh, basically putting in place an architecture or a framework or a platform that makes yeah, it, it easier. It's a platform, and it's actually the ability to use SQL to do you know what it you know, what it actually before you needed to do programmatically, and and the ability to do, you know, invoke functions from SQL to be able to do you know your data discovery or data scientist. Yeah, analytics. I mean, th th that is an interface that is you know, well used by our customers, and right now we have some sort of a complete set of uh, functions, like 90 uh, or plus, you know, analytical functions that allow our users to use a common interface to actually do very complex analytics on, on, on big data. So, in this uh, democratization uh, movement that we're seeing, and especially from you guys as well. Um, Data science is going to dip into all different disciplines, and product management seems like a, a natural one, and that's your background as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's still a technical role, but it's also involved with managed marketing and some things like that. So where do you see that going? Is that a, a big growth area right now, do you think? Um, on marketing in particular? Marketing well, and product I, I management. I think the, important, the important, importance about marketing is the ability to integrate the systems of records, you know, especially uh, for customers and enterprise data warehouse records, with uh, interactive data or you know, interactions of customers with specific corporations. Many of that interactive data is actually being landed into Hadoop. So we're trying to integrate the systems of records with data on Hadoop seamlessly uh, through a SQL interface. Actually, we have put together a series of technology layers to allow customers to read Hadoop data and do joint queries with you know data on the data warehouse with Hadoop that allows users to actually have a complete view of their customers. And we do it not only in the Teladata side, which is the data warehouse, but also in our Teladata Astro Discovery platform. You're actually able to read data from Hadoop seamlessly and be able to do your analysis. Let me ask a, a kind of off the road question. Um, sure. it, we'll, we'll go a little off road here for a second. Sure. Um, in your customer base and what you see of the people that want to use data science tools and a platform and a architecture and all those things, you know who they are pretty much. Who should be using it that isn't, that you, you're not seeing adopt as quickly as they probably should be? Um, we are across the board. I mean, we're not, we don't want to limit our enterprise customers to, to this technology. Our investments is to allow them to actually move into this technology. I mean, we do have customers here in the Valley, right? So basically, Netflix is a data warehousing customer. They presented yesterday uh, of us. But we're not, we don't want to limit a specific industry. Actually, 
our motto is basically to move Absolutely. our technology out of uh, you know out of uh, actually Wall Street, sorry Wall Street and the Silicon Valley into mainstream. So, so let me let me rephrase that then. The positions in an organization. So let's say product management. Let's say engineering. Let's say a data scientist. You know who the type of person is that uses tools like this. Which is the I guess which is the discipline or the the type of person that should be using this tool that might be lagging a little bit. At this point, we want to be we we are able across the board. I mean, basically. SQL analysts, business analysts, yep. that are basically the core of Teradata users. With our interfaces, they're going to be able to actually work with our technology. But we also have customers that are, has a traditional data scientist. So if our package functions do not allow you to do what you want, we have programmatic interfaces so you can, as a data scientist, you can develop those functions and then deploy those functions to the rest of the organization. But you are able to actually go to market with smaller or a reduced number of traditional data Dead scientists census. reducing your costs. I mean, not everybody is actually living here in this valley. So we have customers that are in the Midwest. We have customers in, in Europe, Asia. They don't have the capabilities that many of the people living here has. So they are able to use our technology to you know, move this into you know, the regular users in our style base. So, if if we sit down in New York or next year in Santa Clara, <laughs> um, what will Teradata and Teradata Astrodata be up to next year? What what will we be talking about at that time? I'm, I'm pretty much you know responsible for Hadoop products, and what we're looking for is you know more maturity of the Hadoop market. Right? We'll be making the whole ecosystem. Of, yeah, 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 the yeah. ecosystem. I mean, we're making investments to integrate Hadoop better into our technology, right? Into our traditional technology as well as the Aster Discovery platform. So we're investing on expanding manageability into Hadoop. So our customers are used to specific interfaces, like we have a tool called Viewpoint, now can manage Hadoop from that Viewpoint interface. So our goal is to be able to expand into Hadoop easier, but at the same time, our goal is to work with partners that commit to Hadoop and move Hadoop in the, up into the chain of production. Like in this case, it would be Hortonworks, one of our key yep. partners on Hadoop. So we're collaborating, collaborating with them to be able to move, you know, uh, customers into Hadoop faster. And you know, some of the customers that have been actually evaluating Hadoop so far or working on POCs now are ready to move into enterprise level Hadoop implementations. Excellent. So, Cesar, I hope we see you in New York and uh, again next year. Yeah, at we're planning to be there. Great. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks.